Hello all you coin collectors out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the 1970 one penny coin from Great Britain or the United Kingdom. And of course this is not it on the top and we can tell this is not it because the 1970 only came out in proof coins. This of course is the 1967, the Arnold Machen um, portrait of the Queen and there we have underneath is the 1970 version, which again only came out in a proof coin, so we had to break a proof set up to get this coin. And if we tip it like that, you can see that it is just a um, magnificent coin and very shiny. Let's see if we can get it set up so you can actually see it without having too much shine. How about right about there? Right about there, and we'll put a little bit of light here, and that kind of backlights it. So. Here it is, the 1970 proof version of the one penny coin. And it says Elizabeth II here, Dia Gracia here, by the grace of God, Regina, and Defender of the Faith. We see this pearled outer rim. If we tip the coin up, we see that it is, that's shiny too. It has a smooth rim. And then at the back, we see Britannia in all her glory. Uh, we have the lighthouse behind her, the big, the, the British um, symbol on the shield here, holding a trident. It says one here, penny here, wearing the helmet, uh, the tufted helmet, and we can see the waves. And this is from um, the old uh, days, uh, Britannia rules the waves. You can see just how the, the it colors up here just amazingly as we kind of tip the light back and forth. There's a great um, version of it right there. And if we hold it way up, we can actually see the raiments or the kind of um, her gown coming down. We can see that it has a little bit of a, a tie up here. This particular um, version, the front was engraved by Mary Gillick. The back was engraved by Charles Walter Coombs. And if we blow it way up here, we can see that it says 1970 here and that she's indeed um, wearing some kind of sandal or slipper here. This coin uh, holds up really well though. So if we look at the 1967 that was um, used in general circulation, and 1967 was the last year they made the general circulation coins, we can see most of the definition on this one too. It's just a beautiful um, version of the coin and these, again, this held up very well. 1967, you say, well, I mean, it came out so late that um, they didn't uh, use it much, but they did really. Uh, Britain went to decimalization in 1971, so this coin was used for um, about four years. It was demonetized in 1971, August 31st. And this coin, of course, came out in 1970, was demonetized the next year. So after 1970, this coin wasn't any value for buying anything in Britain. What they did was they first came out with these coins in 1954, but they didn't only produce one of these in 1954. In 61, they came out again with 48 million, 62, 157 and a half million, 63, 120 million, 64, 153 million, and on and on. We got to 1967 and they did 654 million of these. They knew they were going to switch to monetization and they knew that. Um, they were going to have to have some coins uh, available for use until they did so. So they made 654.5 million of these in 1967 and uh, used them until 1971 uh, when the new, the one new pence came out. This coin here is worth about a dollar, uh, maybe a little under a dollar U.S., this coin here in the proof version, the 1970, is worth about $6 US. Both of these coins have the exact same material, which is a bronze. They are 9.45 grams and 30.8 millimeters in diameter and 1.6 millimeters in thickness. And both of them um, were produced at the same mint. However, this one got the kind of the high proof shine on it. And this one um, did not, 
and this one got used, and this one has never been used. In fact, first time out of the package uh, today. So I'll have you take a look at it one last time. Flip it over and see the queen, uh, the young queen. Um, and this is, of course, the image that was first done by Mary Gillick in 1953 and started on this coin in 1954. All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.